Well, back to one of our top stories now. That's a Western Sydney business which is facing scrutiny this morning after refusing to lease a jumping castle to a Jewish high school and later posting about it on social media. Joining us live now is the president of the Australian Jewish Association, Dr David Adler. Doctor, uh, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. Um, I mean, it's just ridiculous where, where all this is at at the moment. Um, first of all, just, just to give us your reaction to it. Well, look, this is blatant anti-Semitism and it's crazy stuff. Uh, children, Australian children in Sydney, uh, have no role in any conflict overseas uh, and... You know, it, it's out of hand. We do ha actually have laws, uh, both at state and federal level, uh, against discrimination uh, on the basis of ethnicity or race or religion. And we will be recommending to the school that they do explore those legal options. Uh, you can't let this thing go unchecked. No, that's right. I mean, it, it, there, there should be repercussions for the owner, I would have thought. I mean, this is, this is stirring up laws. It was only yesterday that we were talking about... We were only talking about um, strengthening the, the hate laws in the state of New South Wales. Chris Minns was already looking into that, so it's quite timely, isn't it? A test for the Premier, perhaps. Uh, it, it is. And, look, the Premier has been pretty good on this subject, but yeah. we haven't seen adequate enforcement. Uh, and there does need to be enforcement. We have seen in the last few weeks dozens of significant threats directed towards members of the Jewish community or Jewish facilities. We've seen some violence on the streets. There's been a couple of arrests. Yeah. Uh, and, and I want to make the plea to everyone. Um, look, occasionally conflicts bring, uh, break out around the world. And whatever you think of the politics... There is no reason to attack, you know, honest, law-abiding uh, people in Australia uh, because of their political views. Oh, we have just, another conflict, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, no. everyone, every, everyone knows that Russia has invaded Ukraine. We don't see Russian people being attacked and discriminated against, and nor should we. And, yeah. and equally, we, we don't want to see uh, any... Uh, anti-Semitism, anti but it, it's out of control at the moment and people need to condemn it. Yeah. Uh, we can't do this battle alone. You just worry, and I know this has been said by a few folks, uh, worrying about where this is heading. You know, there, there could well be something worse down the track that happens. Have you... I think you just referred to this, Doctor, but um, have you spoken to the school? Uh, we haven't yet because we broke this story after school hours uh, yesterday okay. and it's still before school hours today. Uh, but we'll be contacting them. Uh, we've had a quick look at both the New South Wales and federal uh, legislation. There's an anti-discrimination act in New South Wales. There's a racial discrimination act uh, federally. Um, and we think the school's lawyers should... Um, initiate action under both those jurisdictions. Okay, Dr David Adler, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. 